In this video, we're going to go over geometry brushes. We can use these to quickly prototype levels in Unreal Engine. This video is actually a part of my free Unreal Engine beginner course. Check out the links in the description of this video. There you can get access to the completely free course. With that said, let's get into it. Geometry brushes can be used to quickly prototype a level. To access them, if we just go here where it says quickly add things to the project, we can access all of the geometry brushes here, or we can also go over to the place access panel, which I'm going to click and just go over to geometry brush. So geometry brushes are made up of simple shapes like a box, cone, sphere, and so on. And we're going to go through each of them. So like I mentioned, geometry brushes are best used for prototyping a level. Normally you block out the level with geometry brushes. And then once you've got the block out of your level designed, Later on, you'd replace the geometry brushes with static meshes. So let's go over the first one, the box brush. So this will basically just create a simple box and I can adjust it in the X, Y, and Z. With geometry brushes, we can also make them hollow so I can make it have an inside. So if I just click hollow, if I go inside here, we can see this will now have an inside. Now with geometry brushes, they can also be additive or subtractive. So if it's additive, then it's going to add a mesh. Whereas if it's subtractive, then it's going to remove a mesh. So let's say I wanted to create a door inside of this cube. I could just drag in another box. And if I scroll down, right now we can see the brush type is set to additive. If I make this subtractive, and then I basically put, put this in here, you can see it's going to make a gap with the shape of my mesh. So let's say I wanted this to be taller. And just like that, I quickly made this little structure with a door. Let's say I wanted there to be a hole on top. I could just press Alt on my keyboard with my brush selected to quickly duplicate it. And then maybe I can make a hole here. And as you can see, we could easily use this to quickly block out and prototype our level. Let me just drag in the cone brush. With this one, we can just adjust this in the Z and we can also increase the radius of this. So if I just go to outer radius, this will increase the radius of it. And we can change how smooth this will be. So right now it has eight sides. The more sides it has, the smoother it's gonna be. And we can also change the shape of the brush from within the details panel here. So if I just go to brush shape, I could just change this back to a cube if I wanted to. Let's also go over the cylinder. It's very similar to the cone. We can adjust it in the Z. We can adjust the outer radius and we can adjust how many sides it will have. The more sides it will have, the smoother it will be. There is the sphere. We can increase the size of this and we can increase its tessellation. The higher the tessellation, the smoother it's going to be. And then we have the staircases. These all kind of work in similar ways. So I have the curved staircase. This will basically um, create a curved staircase around the pivot point. So we can see it's started around here. We can increase the inner radius. So this will basically offset the stair from its radius here. So if I increase this, it'll be more offset. I can increase the step height or decrease it. Same with the step width, the angle of the curve. So I can adjust it all the way up to 360 degrees. The number of steps, so I can make that a lot of steps or none. If we want, we can counterclockwise this. Those are the main settings of the curved staircase. We also have a linear staircase, which is basically the same, although it's just gonna be straight. And then we have the spiral staircase. So this will kind of like go up into the air. So I can just increase the number of steps and it'll basically create a spiral. We can also kind of adjust some of the settings in the spiral. So we can basically have a slope ceiling. And I think that just adjusts the bottom. We can have a slope floor. So now the stairs are now all smooth. So as you can see, we can easily use the geometry brushes to quickly prototype levels. And then once you're happy with your prototype, you normally just either design some static meshes and replace the block outs. Because when you use geometry brushes, this actually increases the memory usage in Unreal Engine for each geometry brush that you basically add. Whereas if say you added a static mesh, and then let's say I created another one. Meshes are only stored in the memory once, no matter how many instances of this object exist. Whereas each brush that I add into my level increases memory usage, but it's much quicker to prototype and design with a geometry brush 
then once you're done and happy with how your level block out is, you can replace that with meshes. Okay, so that's all for this video. You now know about all of the different geometry brushes in Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like access to the full course, make sure to check out the links in the description of the video.